the Volcane Stakes is next. This is a class one listed race for three odds and upwards over a mile and a half. And let's take a look at the field. We've got National Guard at the top for Obi Wan. All tier given for Matt Cooper. Rings a kiddie, Stu Gray. Reaper Craig Beckwith. Insignia Island, David Robertson. Joyrider, Dan Hughes. Humanity Saviour, Leon Van Rensburg. Countess of Kaya Banog. And Windy City for Padre Hogan. Timberora McGrew, Matt Cooper. And Satyam Sandra Sagram has got the bottom two. Gink and Nkume. Once again, we've got Silks issues. Looks like we're going to have them all the way through the season. Nothing we can do to get through to whoever's doing it. To put it right, it's a simple fix, I understand. You've just got a load of file up. And away they go. A little bit slow to go was all tea and given. Humanity's saviour. They has come out and gone on into the lead and quickly got across to the rail. As so it's Humanity's saviour in front from Genk in second. The Grey National Guard is third, rings a kiddie fourth, and then Windy, Windy City. The humanity Saviour is the one that's taking them along. You wouldn't necessarily expect that with two Satyams in the field. I expect one of these to be up there. But they're not at this point. And Humanity Saviour is three or four lengths clear. Tia given in second, the first of the Satyam horses, Genk is in third, then Rings of Kitty, then National Garden, Joy Rider and Kumes after that one with Reaper and Windy City around the outside. Timberora McGrew has got the inside rail, he's going to need a lucky split. Insignia Island, not sure what he's thinking of taking that one at the moment. The jockey's got a decision to make shortly. And the one that's just struggling a bit at the back is Countess of Kaya Banog, but it's Humanity's Saviour who's three or four clear. The rest of them are pretty closely grouped. One or two of them are going to be looking for a run shortly. Especially that Insignia Island who's not really got anywhere to go at the moment. Neither's Timber or McGrew and they're getting in each other's way a little bit, those two. But it's Humanity Saviour who's still clearing the lead from Rings of Kitty. Joy Rider on the outside. The Greys a Dan Hughes horse running in the wrong colours. And it's Humanity Saviour in the lead. National Guard the Grey now coming through. Rings of Kitty's also coming through. Reaper has now trying to get a run. Genk's got a run up the inside and Insignia Islands also looking for room as well. I'll be pretty sure the rear stewards in quarry end of this race is there's a lot of jockeys been up in their irons but it's Humanity Saviour in the lead as they come down towards the final three furlongs or so. It's Humanity Saviour from Rings of Kitty. Reaper, all to your given. Genk, Joy Riders on the outside. National Guard is still there. Windy City's trying to get into it but it's Reaper who's coming to challenge this Humanity Saviour right over on the far side is Joy Rider now Insignia Island has got a clear run and he's coming to challenge there's a firm and a half to go and it's Reaper in the lead Humanity saving down on this near side gives way Joy Rider throws down the challenge Insignia Island is wearing them down but he's not making that much of an impact at the minute they're inside the final furlong and Reaper's hanging on Reaper from Insignia Island who's now got going it's Reaper in front as they come towards the line Reaper's got to hold on and take it I think Reaper wins Insignia Island I'm looking second with Windy City and then Joy Rider and Countess and Kaya Banog finished particularly well uh, it's a win for Craig Beckwith assuming that that is Craig Beckwith with Reaper certainly Craig Beckwith silks but we can't be too sure can we these days let's take a look it's Reaper for Craig Beckwith the winner Windy City for Padre Hogan was second Insignia Island for David Robertson was unlucky in third I'm surprised there wasn't a stewards inquiry there. Joy Rider for Dan Hughes was fourth, and Countess of Kaya Banog for Padraig Hogan ran on well to be fifth.